there! It is me, Kasai Sora, and today I'm gonna show you what I think is by far the best custom GOI plugin out there. I'm of course talking about GOI Plus. Now the plugin is not free, keep that in mind. But for the price you pay, what you get is absolutely amazing. It is very easy to use, very easy to set up, and pretty much anything you would want to do with a GOI, GOI Plus can do it. Anyway, before we start, do for sure leave a like, also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that, you actually would. Also, if you need help with anything Minecraft server related make sure to join casa Sora's official discord server link will be in the description and then what is it in further ado let's dive right into this now the first step will of course be purchasing and downloading GOI Plus from Spigot MC. A link will be in the description of this video. Here on this page you will also see some information of all the stuff that GOI Plus can do so it is compatible with placeholders bungee cord. You can also add heads to the menu. It supports all Minecraft versions. It is it is actually great. Now, if you want to use placeholders, I would of course highly recommend placeholder API. A link to this plugin will also be in the description so you can download it and add placeholders for yourself. And of course, if you want to do anything economy related, like for example, making a shop inside of your GUI plus menu, then you will also need to install Vault. A link to Vault's page will also be in the description. Anyways, after purchasing the plugin, it is a matter of downloading it, dragging it into your plugins folder, and then restarting your Minecraft server. And after you've done that, you're ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is create a new GUI. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna type slash GUI, then create, and then we're gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it test for the purpose of this video. Then we're gonna press enter and bam. This is what makes GUI Plus so amazing. Everything can be done from this menu and it's really easy to use. So First of all, we have change name. Currently, the name is test. If we would want to change the name, then we can do that here. Then the second tab is the title. Change the title of this GUI. Current value is default title. So the title is basically what it will say up here. So I'm going to make it blue and I'm going to make it bold. And then it needs to say epic test menu. There we go. Nice. Epic test menu. <laughs> that will be my title. I love it. Next one, change size. So the size of this inventory, the one you're looking at right now, is 27. Because one row is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Now the size of our current inventory is 45. If we want to make it bigger or smaller, then this is where you can do that. So let's say I don't want 45, but I want it to be 36. There we go then now it will be size 36. Okay, next one, change permission. Now currently the permission is none, meaning that everyone will be able to open this GUI. Now let's say you want to make a GUI that only VIP players can open, then this is where you can do that. So you could change the permission into VIP, for example, and then with a plugin like LookPerms, you could add that permission to that certain group, and then only that group will be able to open this GUI. So really handy if you're making a GUI for a VIP group or for your admins, then this is a great feature. Feature. Then next we got the command line alias. So this will actually allow you to open the GUI without having to type the whole command out. So instead of typing GUI open warps, you can just type slash warps and the GUI will open. So in my case, I'm gonna change it to just test. So I'm gonna type test, enter, bam. And now I will be able to type slash test and this GUI will open. Okay, after doing all that, I'm gonna click on this crafting table in the bottom right corner. Edit items. And when you click on there, you will go to your custom menu. So this is it. Bam, it's done. <laughs> Kind of. The menu is here. And if I would go out of this menu and I would type slash test, then it would actually open. So here we got the epic test menu, but there's nothing inside. So I'm going to be looking for some cool items I can put in there. Let's see. I want a crimson plank. Yes. Then I also want a skulk sensor and I want an apple. The most random things I can think of. Maybe I also want some glass, black glass. There we go. Okay. Now to re-edit your menu, we're simply going to type slash GOI, edit, and then test. Just like that. There we're back. Then I can click on this icon again. And now you can simply track your items in here. So here will be my apple. Then here will be my skulk sensor. And here will be my plank. Now the glass panes we can use to let the GOI look a little nicer. So I'm just going to 
uh, do it like this. I think that looks pretty cool. It's a beautiful menu. So now it is time to actually start editing this menu. So let's go to the Apple, gonna right click. And first of all, here we can change the display name. So currently it is just an Apple. It looks like an Apple and the name is Apple. Now let's say we want to change the display name to in a gold color and also bold letters. Get your Apple, just like that. Bam! This is now what it will look like. Now we can also edit the lores. So I'm simply gonna click on here, then I'm gonna click on add lore, and then I'm simply gonna type some lore in chat. So I'm gonna do in a purple color, click to get one free apple. Like that. That works, that's great. Then let's go back. Now another option you can toggle is the glow. So if you want the apple to glow, then just click on here and now it will glow. And if you click again, it will, well, not glow anymore. <laughs> Okay, so the next very cool feature of GUI Plus is the actions. So in other words, what will happen when we click on this apple inside of our custom GUI? Now this can be anything. You can add any Minecraft command you want as an action. Now something that is really, really cool is that the action can be different depending on what button you use to click on the item. So you can set an action for left click. You can set an action for shift left click. You can set an action for middle click, right click and shift right click. Click. So you can let this apple do something different depending on if you left click or right click on it or if you use the middle mouse button. It's actually really cool. You could make a full GUI store using this. You could make a server selection menu using this. You could make some kinds of moderation menu for your moderators. Literally your imagination is the limit. Okay, so in my case I want to make it so that we get a free apple upon clicking on this item. So I'm going to click on left click action and then down here you see the option add command. Now, if you want some inspiration of all the stuff that's possible, you might want to read this. For example, how you can let the server execute a command, how you can send a message, how you can let a player switch servers, so with the Bungie example. Then you can also let players execute a command that they don't have access to. So for example, the player OP example. In other words, they don't have access to the command, but they can still execute it from the menu, which is really cool. Now, you can also add sounds. There's a back option, so if you make multiple GUIs, linked to each other you can actually make a back button that will take you back to the previous gui it is really really cool okay let me add a command i'm gonna click on add command and then i'm gonna type gif after that player and then apple one press enter beautiful the command has been added now here on the top you can change permissions so like i showed before you can add a permission to open the gui you can also add a permission to have access to a specific command so you could for example make it so that only vip players will be able to claim this free apple but all players will be able to open the gui i'm not gonna set a permission but it is for sure a really handy feature to have then we got the cooldown let's set the cooldown to five S, which stands for five seconds. So then players will have to wait for five seconds until they can execute the command again. Then we got toggle close GUI. So after players click on this action, will the GUI close? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? And then charge money. So this is why it is actually possible to make a whole shop system using GUI+. Plus. It can take money from you. For this apple, I'm not gonna do it. It is supposed to be a free apple. So I'm gonna leave this unchanged. But if you would want to make a shop, then this will be the price of your item. Now, if you don't want to use money in your shop, but you want to, for example, let players trade items for other items, then this is where you can do it. And if you want to allow players to trade experience for a specific item or to execute a specific command, then this is where you can do it. Anyway, we've added our command. Now let's go back. After that, we're going back again. And here we go. So now let's test it out. Let's do slash test. And then I'm going to click here and bam, I got an apple. I just left Let's click on there, the inventory closed, and I got an apple. Then we do slash test again, and I will click, and then we do it again, and now it won't work because we have to wait for a little bit. How cool is that? Now let's do slash GUI edit test again. And now I'm gonna make a teleport command for this scope sensor. So I'm gonna right click, then I'm gonna change the display name, gold and bold, random. TP. There we go. Then I'm gonna make a lore again. Click for RTP. 
Yes. Then I'm going to go back again. This is now what it looks like. And then I'm going to add a command, but this time on the middle click action. Because why not? TP random, which is an essentials command that lets you randomly teleport. And then player like this. So TP random player. Press enter. Beautiful. And I'm going to go back. After that, I'm going to toggle glow. Go back again and let's test it out. So slash test. And after that, I'm just going to middle mouse button click on here we will need to wait for a little bit and there we go oh no my server doesn't like this ah there i am okay cool now i did this using the middle mouse button if i now left click or right click absolutely nothing i'm clicking nothing happens absolutely nothing only when i middle mouse click i will teleport all right now it is time to set up our last item now for that last item i want to use a placeholder so in my case i want to use the player placeholders so i'm going to type slash p a p i e cloud downloads and then i'm going to choose for the player one so from the e clouds we're going to download player press enter then p a p i reload just like that and there we go. Okay, so now we will be able to use the placeholders. Now I'm simply gonna type slash GUI, edit, test. There we go. Then go to the crafting table. Then I'm gonna right click on this one. And then I wanna change the display name. And the display name, I want it to say the name of the player that is looking at it. So I'm simply gonna type percent player underscore name percent which is the placeholder for a player name so now i can just press enter here you will see that the item name is now percent player name percent and if we now exit out and type slash test which of course opens our menu then you will see that it now says Kassasura. And if you, viewer who's watching this video, would be looking at it, you would see your Minecraft username. How cool is that? Now, I will soon in the future make a more detailed tutorial on Placeholder API, as I'm getting a lot of questions about it. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You will be notified as soon as that video is online. And then guys, that's gonna be it. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Also, if you need help with anything Minecraft server related, Make sure to join Casasora's official Discord server. Link will be in the description. And then with all that out of the way, I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>